I think I would stick with piano longer than I would a guitar. I've tried the guitar. I'm like, this is yeah. Piano's yeah, just hard. Hit. I mean, piano. You gotta. The thing with pianos though is you can get pianos for free. Because a lot of times people are like, just take it out of my house. Yeah. And yeah. It's yours. You just get tired yeah. of it? How many wealthy Russians do you know? No, I'm not saying me in general. I'm just saying like, I know people who that's how they got their piano is they just went on like fucking Craigslist and someone's like, just take this thing out of get my house. Get this fucking thing out of my and house. And they go like, they just grab a friend with a van and they go, we have a piano now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Then you got to have a place to put it. That too. That and you is, have to have neighbors yeah. who are like not fucking... Yeah. yeah. See, that thing would just be a giant charcuterie board for me. I would. Yeah. That's fine. That would be I would never touch the keys. Still be a cool I charcuterie I'd take board. The keys. Yeah, I think I would too. It's like one of my dreams. I think the top of yeah, yeah. my dreams is pulling up into like a Holiday Inn, fucking yes. or a ho nice hotel. Dude. Man, there was where, where was I just actually? Oh, there was fuck. I was at an airport in in Rome actually. The airport in Rome and at the terminal they just have a piano there yeah. like at the gate and yeah. people just go up to and I kind of wanted to be like go up there and just be like bam 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just all the fucking. Just play hot cross buns. <laughs> not just even, like not just even. Bang. Even worse. Yeah, yeah, like, bah, 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 bah. Just really yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, but imagine if you could play. I mean, oh, it's, it's oh. The best. how many WAP ladies you could impregnate oh, that I'd same be, night? I, dude, if we could both play piano, it would be nonstop making those fake videos. We're like. Oh yeah, somebody just walks randomly in. walk up and totally. then they do like a yeah, 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 yeah. You just see me in the background, just wearing a top hat and a mustache, like. <laughs> what is this guy up to? He's got talent. Oh, that would be all the time. Big day, big week for for Philadelphia boys. Uh, big week for <laughs> Toronto boys. Yeah. Don't. We're not going to talk about the Sixers. No, I'm talking about the Danny. Blue Jays. Did you see the Blue Jays? Yeah, I saw the Blue Jays. Congrats. Ooh. We also don't want to talk about them either. They fucked us. In a Dude, I literally messaged my girls. He's like a crazy base. He's a Yankees fan. And then they were up 8-1. And I go, fucking beat down. He goes, Dude, that was a stupid thing for you to say. Yeah. He goes, I've seen leads evaporate quicker, <laughs> bigger leads. And I go, Nah, man. <laughs> and then, Dude, third biggest uh, deficit. Like, yeah, ever. Yeah. In the playoffs. Wait, what happened? I didn't see it. The Yankees. The Jays. No, the game yeah. two of the Jays Mariners. The Jays were up eight oh, one in the sixth yes. inning, and, and they the lost. Mariners came back. Yeah. yeah, I saw a video of Mariners fans celebrating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they were the three guys in the car dealership. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, did you watch long enough for the fat black yeah, the guy? Fat black guy. Yeah, yeah. In he gets in the wrong <laughs> Damn. 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 Jolly fat ever... black dudes make every scene. Yeah, better. yeah, yeah. Toss one in. That was anyway, happy Columbus Day. Happy Columbus Day. <laughs> Guys, I'm Canadian. So, yeah, I know. So I have, yeah. I have no, uh, allegiance. No, no real allegiance to Columbus. Although it's on Twitter, it's more Indigenous Peoples Day now. Well, yeah. You know how crazy uh, is? I moved here three years ago. There was no talk of Indigenous Peoples Day. No, it's well, It's, it's just Columbus Day. They go, there's yeah. a Columbus Day parade right when I move here. Yeah. All this stuff. And now they're like, col three years later, COVID, Columbus Day's Dude, over. Dude, no one's safe from the hard left woke. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Some fat him? bitch in purple bangs will take your God. Yeah. Do you see? I don't know if it was Boston or Philly, <laughs> sure, but they, right? <laughs> they, they put a huge box yeah, over, over and then they painted it with the Italian what colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, it's so crazy. I was gonna go there this morning before I left. Was that Philly? Really? <laughs> I was gonna go visit the fucking patron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just get down on one knee. Yeah, yeah. just drop one tear like that Indian. <laughs> Sorry, Indigenous person. It's Indigenous. funny because he's Spanish. Yeah, it is their well, day. That's what's weird. He's Spanish. No, he's Italian, but he was he was he was a mercenary. I don't think he ever even spoke Italian. They say, well, I was reading. I read, I read Chris Italia's thing. He was from Geno <laughs> Genoa. It's called. Like, he's not yeah, a big deal. In the he, well, he was because he was born there and then he left. Oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, or I think his dad might have been. Italian at one point, but they were full on Spanish. Well, yeah. one he thing was flying the Spanish colors when he landed here. It's undeniable that he could fly a canoe. So. <laughs> <laughs> the boy knew what he was doing. The guy could sail. Yeah. Okay. He left a grease slick, whether it was Spain, <laughs> Spanish, or Italian. And you guys owe just as much to him as we do. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> sure. Don't we don't talk about Columbus. Like I only really <laughs> like he he comes up for you know one week in high school, and that's about it. Maybe. Who do you guys credit with the founding of Canada? Uh, well, we have like all the founding fathers. Who I'm so bad with this. There's like John A. McDonald. <laughs> you guys have <laughs> 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 Seriously, you guys just have three found dudes are like, what's his name? No, this is oh, this is. <laughs> It's like, no, nobody fucking anyone. No, no, no. <laughs> dude, it's all like about the, like in, in high school in Canada, you learn all about like the fur trade and how the fur trade started in Canada. It's literally all like beaver pelts. Like it's really like on the nose with <laughs> yeah. this stuff. They're all like, oh, yeah. we like fucking beaver pelts, yeah. eh? And all like, and yeah, like Jacques Cartier and I don't know, all these people who just like, 
Star Canada, but we don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I honestly, I for, mo for, for most of my life, I thought Canada. <laughs> You know what's interesting though? We do learn. <laughs> was a water park? No, no. I thought, I thought that was the line we beat the British back to. <laughs> Honestly, like, we, just, we just like we, we just you guys were. Just, it was just like a part of North America. We were like, yeah, yeah. Yes, we're we're getting to so that's, yeah, that's where you guys got tired out. Like you guys go, you don't want to fuck that. Yeah, yeah. America was like, I know these two really nice dudes <laughs> that love beaver pelts. <laughs> Give them the fucking space. And dude, and wait, the guy whose name was Jimmy McDonald. John, <laughs> John, <laughs> Sir John, <laughs> Sir John A. McDonald. <laughs> Did he invent basketball up there? Oh, no, that was James Dixon, man. Dude, we had, oh man, we have a, we have these things in Canada called Canadian Heritage Moments, and they're like Canadian propaganda. Like you guys have tons of them, but we don't have. We're like a little more humble about that yeah. stuff, so we don't really like. But we have these commercials, and it's the commercial of him inventing basketball. <laughs> like any Canadian who's watching this right now knows exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, they yeah. would just play. And they go like, here's like a sick thing from Canada. Yeah. And it would be like, he's, he's playing in this like YMCA and some, and they're throwing the thing in the basket, but then the guy has to go up the stairs. He then, so you make a basket, the guy walks over, puts a ladder, goes up the ladder, gets the ba basket out. And then the guy goes, we got to cut a hole in the bottom of Shut this peach the basket. <laughs> and then the farmer goes, but I need these baskets back. And then the, the, <laughs> and then you guys the, are such I see the, and, and then the compromise is they cut a little hole. And then once the ball goes in, he takes it. a broom and he goes, this guy still has to go over. And, but you're like, your peaches are still falling through this hole. Yeah. But then you put the broom and you go like that. Yeah. And you just pop the ball out. <laughs> Dude. And then what happened? That's the end of And the... then Michael Jordan was next. Yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> and Shaq broke yeah, the backboard. Shaq breaking the backboard. Oh, my God. Do you, we, we, do you just, speak French? No. But I was going to say, we do learn about Manifest Destiny, which is kind of fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, That's we're a good movie. Why? Did you Manifest Destiny? No. No. We had to do it for you. <laughs> you got to do it for us. <laughs> no, they're, we, they taught us, like, you learn, you go, like, watch out for America. Because, like, they think that this is theirs. Like, oh. like given by God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what what is it? What's the Canadian like? Where do you guys? <laughs> what's your story? <laughs> what's your like? What do you do? Well, this sounds to like make when you I feel better than everyone else. That's the what type of question tell I ask when I my head hurts so bad. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just kick off like a volleyball question. I'm like, tell me the story of Canada real quick. It's like a hungover teacher <laughs> playing a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop the movie. Guys are watching a movie today. Well, if you didn't have to manifest destiny. Well, we can't. We're not. We're not about that. How did you get across? From where? How did you? <laughs> we're a colony. We're a colony. We're, we're good. Know, so you, you guys, guys are across like the, the continent. You, you guys are like the the black sheep of of England, and we were like the the good boys who came over and yeah. go, like the queens on our money. Steve. You were the yeah. good altar yeah. boy that took every yeah. fucking inch. <laughs> <laughs> took it just took every go inch. Down on this. <laughs> <laughs> Call me queen. Call me queen. <laughs> yeah. So were you guys upset? Like we talked about a little bit oh, on, on, on yeah, your yeah. pod. Yeah. No. Does anyone, do you know anyone that gives a fuck about the queen? I've had, no. I got friends of friends that I've, I've heard like get upset. when There this... are like older ladies who are like into the monarchy, like, but you, they're into it. Like you're, you're into celebrities and stuff, yeah. you know, it's like celebrity worship more than. Yeah. Is it still like in your shit though? Like, is it like, if you go into like, what do you guys have a parliament? Yeah. If you go in there, is there, is there <laughs> like British flags and shit? Uh, no, but I think the, uh, the old flag of, uh. I don't know if it's on the old Canadian flag. I believe did have a what is it like the Union Jack yeah, in like yeah. the corner of it, like and then we we got we went to the Maple Leaf. Dude, when I went to Ireland, the Capitol building in Dublin still has like like old King's chair in there and shit. I mean, like, dude, what the fuck is this? Geez, they own it all. the fuck out of here. Burn yeah, it. they own it all. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. You're supposed to be like us. We don't have any royal Said stuff. like a true American. Yeah. You know, fuck <laughs> yeah, this. Fuck this. I don't like it. <laughs> I want to be like one of those Irish TikTokers doing the fucking, the, the, the jig. Yeah, yeah. They have those. That's, what do they call it? It's a jig. I think it's I a think. jig. Yeah. The best is the American guy, though, like from like Missouri or something. You oh, seen him on yeah, TikTok? yeah, yeah. That dude, he's, he's like. He's a really, yeah. He like blew up. 
That guy's so famous <laughs> for like clogging. That's what he is. He's a clogger. I know. And that they like they tried to make it seem like because everyone started accusing him of cultural appropriation. <laughs> that's like that's the first that's the first missile that comes out anytime, anytime some bumpkin gets yeah. famous. Yeah, he's the like dude from like the sticks is getting like famous for dancing. Yeah, you know, yeah. dude. Yeah. You stole that. I don't know where from, yeah. but you definitely. Stole We're gonna look into it. it. Yeah. I'm throwing out there now. In three yeah. months, we'll know. I. They do that shit still at like uh, in like Delco bars. They'll take like it's the most embarrassing shit in the world because the parents are like proud. So yeah. they'll bring out this little fucking Peggy or Megan or whatever their fat name is, <laughs> <laughs> and they line them up in the middle of like a a big 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 mannequins or whatever. It is. <laughs> they do this shitty little dance, and the kids suck. They're not even. They're not even aligned together. Ah. One one chunker's like in the corner playing with like a basketball, and then the, <laughs> the, the feet aren't there. even together. And the, the parents are like, "Oh, this is great! Yeah, he's fucking beautiful." Oh, kid. this yeah. this dude is like, if you look, his head never moves. Yeah, yeah. like That's the whole impressive. body's moving, but the, yeah. the head is That's like impressive. it's like a good golf fixed. swing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like he's like totally silent right there, and then it's just. <laughs> Dude, he did. He did try to because when he got hit with the cultural appropriation stuff, he was like, "Nah, this is actually like an old white person thing." Yeah, that, that, that worked out for. I'm that pretty that sure you're crip walking, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, if you get the crip walk down here, I'll do the gritty when we come out on stage. <laughs> Dude, shout that out to everybody fun. came to see us at Philly and Helium. That shit was... Oh, yeah, yeah. We did a show in Philly that last was, week. It was great. Was yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I watched the, the show. You guys were fantastic. Which one? Oh, uh, uh, Gillian, Gillian Keyes. Keyes. Oh, oh thanks, yeah, man. yeah. Dude, that the Philly good. boy. Like, just the Philly crew. Yeah. Like, that's like a real verifiable, like, scene. Like, yeah. it's like a... Uh, like, you know how, like, there's always, like, you hear about old musicians and stuff, and they had, like, this was this this pocket of thing. And yeah. Like this. And, yeah. Like, it's like it's like there's the Philly thing. Hell yeah! Oh yeah. man, thanks for the yeah. words. So yeah, much only pressure. took uh, ten what? years, <laughs> fourteen relationships, <laughs> one arrest. <laughs> yeah, you know, just grind it. Yeah, it sounds like the Richard yeah. Pryor story, yeah, yeah. essentially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not burning my face on yeah, crack. Yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll be the fun part of the fall. <laughs> yeah, the fall. I can't the imagine. Fall of the <laughs> yeah. Just everyone going to pieces. Did you ever hear that Richard Pryor story of him and uh, when he popped off when he got? Uh, like his first, like when he was making the most money, he yeah. had this like mansion in Beverly Hills and he had no furniture. This is secondhand, had no furniture. And this is, you didn't, he didn't tell you. This I wasn't there. Sucking out a pacifier. Some of the details like, of this dude, might be. I this haven't is... slept in like 40 years. <laughs> I'm on a delay right now. <laughs> so there's a couch, apparently there's a couch in the middle of this fucking palace and the, the, the table was just, a mound of cocaine. <laughs> He's ass nude, answers the door because he asked like an opener to come by. Yeah. He was like, yo, stop by my house. You want to go come hang out? <laughs> and the opener like comes in and he apparently just like opened the door and there's like four naked girls, you know, eating each other's bunker or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just goes, you want, you want to come in? He goes, work on it for another 15 years. And just slams the door in his face. Really? Like, yeah, uh, just out of his court. Wow. That sucks. That, yeah, so that guy probably was like so like, excited. He was yeah, just he goes, right there. Oh, yes. And he goes, yeah, right you can there. fuck right off. Yeah, yeah, get better. I forget the line. <laughs> the line was probably, I probably should have known the line before I said that dumb story. But Dude, it must have kind of sucked to be famous back then a little bit. I think the office. What? Office, uh, you in the do, 80s? I mean, you could I was do, do you anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With in, in full impunity. impunity. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. That's no, true. Like, you honestly, would like, pull you over just Ro to take Robert a Wagner literally, like, just killed a woman. Ooh. Everybody knew about it. Nobody cared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no like woke police yeah, or anything. There's no true. like woke police. You literally, there was no police. Yeah, there was yeah. no police. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true, dude. You that can do true. anything. You're right. All in all, net positive. Net the only positive. thing I was, I was going to say is that I, when you started telling that story, I thought it was a sad story. Well, he didn't, because if you, if you lost your like fucking trip. Rolodex or whatever, it's like, who do you call? Well, I How guess they, they find you. Yeah. I guess if you're fucking people, king shit. Yeah. They'll figure it but out. If you're in your house, you got a pile of coke. There's six I, naked I, I, girls next to him. Yeah, what are you yeah. gonna You think I'm calling you? <laughs> yeah, I would hope so. Hey, Chris, just, just checking up on you, bud. You good? You good? <laughs> <laughs> you ever watch the Carlin doc? 
Yeah. Where he yeah. likes, he's right. like, he was do just coke and sing and he would lose his voice. Yeah. Like, he's like, he couldn't tour because he was just, all he was doing was just by himself, <laughs> just so much blow. And he was singing at the top of his lungs for like a week. And, then he, and he literally lost his voice to the point where he could not do comedy. That Dude. Rules. Incredible. <laughs> incredible. I, that's such a crazy thing. I like, I don't, I, well, I'm actually not really that big of a car fan. <laughs> It's all right. I, think he I saw him sucked. once. I actually saw him live once. He, what do you like, mean he sucked? Man, I mean, he was good. He has some good bits. <laughs> some good bits. <laughs> Thanks, well, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of stuff where I'm watching it where I'm just like, someone like posted a clip of his online and I was like, damn, he did rule. And I like turned on a special and I was just like, this sucks. Yeah, I hate this. I, can't. He had his, I mean, he had his years and stuff too, but uh, I saw him in like, I want to say 96. It's just an old man. Watch like around. he was like an old man doing an open mic in front of 2,500 people. Yeah. Like he walks on, which is like a piece of like, just like a legal pad. And he walks on stage and he's literally just like, does a joke and he goes and looks at it and he's like, comes back. And oh like, no. I mean, he's just like, I don't give a shit. He's well, like, he didn't care. He's like, I'm just trying to like, but he did have like, he did order. revolutionize stand up, but a yeah. little, <clears throat> like no. two of his specials were like, whole. Oh, huge. Yeah. Well, I mean, even the, the, the dirty words or whatever, the seven words you can't say, like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. watched that recently. I'm like, still pretty good bit. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. There's no question. There's some, there's some bangers. The best was like the curmudgeon years. Like when he was right. like in all black, that fucking black turtleneck special. Yeah. I don't know what special that is. Yeah. Just goes that was like the nineties off on the system. And people were like, I didn't think about it like that. <laughs> I didn't fucking, and he's just demolishing America. Yeah. 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 And why we call ourselves the best. I don't know. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like that. You guys are, I, I also <laughs> wasn't there. I say it's not begrudgingly, but I mean, America is objectively. <clears> the best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. That's why I never really liked his material. <laughs> Did you go back to Russia, you fucking comedy? I mean, yeah, yeah. I remember watching, like, I, I was, yeah, a huge comedy fan as a kid. I remember watching that being like, fuck this guy. Yeah. Coming up my dad this, like this, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like, you're my dad you're, pays taxes. Yeah, go somewhere else. Fuck, yeah, yeah. Man. Go somewhere else and yeah. do this bullshit. Yeah, yeah. See if it's going to work. <laughs> do it in India, you fucking pussy. <laughs> They're not going to listen to you, bitch. Yeah, too many wars. Ah, well shut Canada, up. <laughs> what? He would have done well in Canada. He just would not have had much of a career. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. like he would have like the biggest comedian in Canada who doesn't leave Canada, which nobody knows. Like, I, nobody outside of Canada. Who knows. is? Who? Yeah. Who is it? The biggest comedian in Canada who doesn't leave Canada. If if Quebec counts, then it's Mike Ward. This guy, Mike. Ward. Oh yeah, I know, you know him. Yeah, he's, he's fine. the thing is because in Quebec, <clears throat> they obviously they only speak French, so they have their own star system. That's like like their superstars are not really popular outside of Quebec, but within Quebec are like hugely famous. Like they make tons of money. They he just did a fucking podcast at the Bell Center, which is like where same size as like MSG. Jesus a Christ, podcast. Just 20, talk. Holy for 20, shit! For twenty thousand people live, yeah. I just relapsed him and a couple other guys. Dang. Yeah. Do you guys make fun of Quebec for just being like a piece of shit little backwoods French? Um, I mean, hole? it's it is like the Jesus. ultimate rivalry. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that cadence had like like you like you were at the news desk. You hit a wire and someone's feeding you. What <laughs> Could you imagine if we had a pocket of our country that spoke French? <laughs> we oh. decimate them. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, I mean, it's a rivalry akin to, uh, you know, any good rivalry you have here, you know, Red Sox, Yankees, Boston, New York. Like, it's yeah. like that. Like, everybody, they just hate each other. Yeah. yeah. But do they, like, did, when you look at what they're doing, is it, <laughs> like, honestly, we don't really pay attention Chris to them. Chris has been looking into this more than, <laughs> dude, they, they want to get They're like their own thing. Like, they yeah. don't speak English. Like, there's, mo Quebec's pretty big, and most of it, people don't speak English at all. Really? And like, they were, these are people who were born in Canada. Yeah. And they just, they're like, yeah, we don't speak English. And the so Queen's French. on their money too. Oh, yeah. They don't have, but they like almost left in Gerard Depardieu. In 95. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Russian now. Oh, Gerard. yeah, yeah. He seceded as well. But yeah, they, like, they almost left. It was like a 51 49 vote. And like, uh, really? In 95, I think. Yeah. To, wow. But again, it would have made no sense because you're like, so whose money are you going to use? And what happens if I want to drive from fucking Ontario to like Nova Scotia? Like, you got to pass through a different country? Fuck yeah. out of here. Yeah. Well, there's fucking, there's a pile of euros in our, uh, in our hallway. <laughs> so, you see that? Yeah. What the fuck? What? There's like four bucks, five bucks in euros. As just soon as you in open the, the door, yeah, it's just. Fucking weirdo coins all hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pile of I thought I saw a Canadian quarter there, actually. If I yeah. disrespect. Pick it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy a your loony? mom something nice. Is that a loony? Tell her it's a, a loony. Yeah. No, I think it was a quarter. Oh. 
Maybe yeah, there's like seven coins. Oh, they call it, what is it, a toonie or a loonie? Toonie, toonie, toonie is a $2 coin. <laughs> oh. And a loonie is a one? One, yeah. Okay. Loonie yeah, tunes. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, we had actually $1 and $2 bills. I don't know why they got rid of them. Yeah, I, I think yeah. I love having paper money. Yeah. Dude, it's nice. Yeah. Now, when I, I, I used to have to go wait in line for a fucking hour to get rent money because my landlord's a wop you know, it takes, it only takes happy cash. columbus day yeah, yo, yeah trust me you ain't getting a hold of him today that motherfucker's got sausage in every orifice he's doing he's doing the italian jig in some, <laughs> some vfw somewhere uh <clears throat> no but i like taking like an extra 200 hours out i mean it only lasts like three days but yeah yeah it's nice yeah just oh. pulling out a wad oh absolutely <sighs> They don't even have to be fucking... The sunlight is hitting your face is in, it such, nice? in such a romantic <laughs> yeah. way right now. <laughs> Let it me tell you about Christopher Columbus. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's going off the window. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I told God to give me the light when I was talking about <laughs> Christopher Columbus. <laughs> My God. Dude, no, it does. Yeah, it is. It's like a scene in Top oh, Gun or something. Check the, no, it honestly looks like door, one right? of these like Renaissance paintings. Sick, dude. Like how the light hits and like yeah. you know the Renaissance nice. like through the window. Yeah, yeah, I wish I slept three hours this yeah, week. Yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing <laughs> I have that's... something profound to say right now. Yeah, yeah. Instead of ruining the great lighting <laughs> right. we've had since we started. No, I was worried about you. It's like there's nothing worse than being hang hung over and then having to stare into the sun. <laughs> 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 Are you kidding? It's a reset button. Yeah, I feel like I'm sober you up. Yeah. Instead you of men in black. You ever done a cold plunge when you're hungover? No, I took oh, a man. cold shower. It's like instant. It's gone. Are you talking like like a, a body of a water, like yeah. a lake or an ocean? Oh, or just even like a, <laughs> like a, bat, a bathhouse. What? This is the profound yeah. shit. I get. Hurry up. We only got like three more minutes. Dude. Do you guys have bathhouses that make cold, like cold super cold There's water? There's one in, near my place in Williamsburg. I went to once. Yeah, they have like this little, it's like, it's like you know, the Joe Rogan. like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know, let me just see You're start. starting to sweat. I can't see, <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> Yeah, it is coming. No, no, go. leave it. Oh, there you it's going to go down. You're I was having fun. You're getting killed. You also hit the wrong one, you moron. <laughs> Let me do it. Let me, you're on the show. Let me do it. Is it this one? It's the door. Yeah. Also, leave it. It's still the wrong one. <laughs> Look at you all the You got it. It's going to go down. Yeah, no. Oh, open the door. You got, we can leave the door open. Yeah, leave the door open. Yeah, yeah. Open it up. You, you want to get hit? Now you got a perfect... <laughs> looks like an angel. <laughs> <laughs> I got, it looks like an angel. We got 30 seconds. Dude. <laughs> this pig falls fast, you know. <laughs> yeah, this, it comes down that's quick. A, that's the kind of stuff you don't get from a, from a studio. No. You know, if True. you're in studio, you don't get that kind oh, of action. Oh, we don't even have windows. True. They're all covered. <laughs> yeah. Our windows are absolutely True. covered. True. <laughs> Berg's just going to hold his hand up. Yeah. <laughs> We should do shadow puppets <laughs> in there. I'm sorry, Danny. What were you saying? <laughs> I don't. I have no cold idea. Plunge. Oh, cold plunge. Oh, cold plunge. Cold, yeah, yeah. It's like a yeah, bath Russian bath. bath. Yeah, kind of. It's something like that. Yeah. yeah. And but you just like you know, it's like 40 degrees, like water. And you, I, That's I was, crazy. I was like, we. I'm. I was. I went there and I was really, really hungover. Like I had done drugs and stuff, and I was like, you know, felt about like MDMA or something. Felt as bad as I could feel, and then yeah, literally 30 seconds. I was like. Yeah, good. It's over. That's what we're saying yeah. about like doing like a, a long run or a heavy workout after. Yeah, yeah. A big. But I'm saying this night. is so fast. Yeah, like, you that's have like, to do all the exertion. You're like, you're like, oh man. Like if anything, do the workout after that. But this is just 30 seconds. I was like, oh man. Do you ever do the Turkish thing? I used to live on first and uh, first and eleventh. I one on first I, and tenth. I didn't with the two brothers. I want to go there. Yeah, it's, it's uh, crazy. Dude. I heard it's awesome. Yeah. I only went to the sauna. I went in the the tub. It wasn't cold, and then they beat you with these fucking yeah, the sticks. Leaves, right? the leaves, yeah, yeah, they like blast you. With yeah, the and there's just a bunch of hideous jack men smacking the fuck out of <laughs> like tall, small trees. Yeah, you know what it's, I mean. You know, like that Eastern European ugly is like scary. Yeah, yeah. you just associate every Eastern European man for a, you know being on a moped and shooting you in the back of the fucking skull. Yeah, why? Them. Why are they so fucking ugly? Is it water? Is it bad no, they, water or something? It's They're incest. not sending their best. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's incest. Also, people like, you know, <laughs> decent looking people that, that want to do things, they go towards the warmer weather, you know? So you can just leave. You just yeah. figure right. it out. Right, yeah. right, right. I mean, that's like you're, this is some dude who's like a gremlin who's working inside of a bathhouse. <laughs> yeah. He didn't even yeah. leave. He loves like, it. Yeah. He's in his fucking... He loves this it. This is heaven. Yeah, but, but I'm like, they didn't be like... He's going to be ugly all day. He's going to get that out somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> just just dude, beating the shit out of hot you people. You know how they yeah. say, like, you get wrinkles from moving your face so much. Of course. This guy was probably a beautiful <laughs> angel. Yeah. And then yeah. just fucking clenching his face, just whooping the fuck out of strangers. He just... He earned this gremlin 
gremlin mug, and all the women <laughs> look like gremlins too. Yeah. They're like Eskimos. Right. They all look the same. Yeah, yeah. It's the, or Jews. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Incest is it's it's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah, there is there is a very Jewish look I, and Eskimo look. Eastern European. Yeah, I guess to a degree as well. Except like there's like one percent of Eastern European that are just yeah. <sighs> Yeah, like, I don't think those guys at the bathhouse were like, hey, you want to work the front desk? Or do you want to work? <laughs> <laughs> or you want to be back here? You choose. <laughs> we really want you on the team, which yeah, is up yeah, to you yeah. what you want to do. You got to work your way up here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just go beating strangers without putting three months in. Dude, that would be the number one thing I would do every day. If I, if I was, like, truly rich, I would get fucking massages Every yeah? single day. Yeah. I don't know if you need a massage every day. I well, think there's real diminishing returns at that point. Uh, sure, but there's got to be something they can do. You get a cold plunge. Have yeah, you cold plunge. But I'm, I'm those want are painful, people putting though. their hands on me. Oh, you want people, <laughs> people putting their hands yeah, on me? Yeah, putting their hands, just rubbing me down, getting the muscles loose, getting the blood flowing. Yeah, I don't like it. Why not? TB12. I'm dude. a ball of fucking. <laughs> I'm a huge tumor. Like I'm a ball of tension that can't be. Burst it. Ryan's the same. Ryan's literally like he. I, I think he tried to get a massage once for like two minutes, and he's like, "Scream, he's, stop!" He goes, "I hate yeah. this." Yeah. Dude, there's there's a, I go, "It's supposed to be painful." He goes, "No, I don't like this." There's a place yeah. on Apple. Uh, it's called Apple something. Yeah. It's got a real shady name. Like they're gonna beat you off with their mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here on Steinway, and I went with two friends, and everybody got their Bulgarian bitch. You know, yeah. mine was a giant rock biter, dude. She bit this bitch. <laughs> She had a head bigger than Soder's. Like, I mean, <laughs> body like a cigarette machine. It was unbelievable. <laughs> so I, like I come machine. to find out, everybody gets this hot rock treatment. Yeah. And, and, like, and I was like, I got no hot rocks. There's like a, there's a space in between the walls, I guess, because you can yell for help or like an ambulance. <laughs> so, um, yeah. this chick. That's if you change prices. They... <laughs> <laughs> What's the last yeah, 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 yeah. I think you're getting out. Yeah. There was just a pole, and she, this fucking meat wagon walked on my spine. She was like 220. This is a big broad. Oh, she got up to, like, she aligning my spine, I, holding a water pipe. See, I oh. got a massage in LA. <laughs> and all the Applebee's on Steinway. <laughs> I, I got a massage in LA, same thing, but it was like a 120 pound Asian woman. So oh, yeah, she got yeah. up there, and I got, That's okay. Nice. But yeah, to have yeah. that kind of weight, you go, well, like, I don't think you, when they're 120, she probably has the leverage without the. Yeah. When they're 120 pounds in, in Asian, you'd slowly turn over. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was like 60. Oh. Mm. Still yeah. pretty good. Yeah. But yeah, no, I did one of those, and the face thing was not right. Like, there was like an, <laughs> an edge that was not, like, padded. And so I was just getting, like, I literally thought it was cutting through my face, but I didn't want to be a bitch. Yeah. And stop. Yeah. So I just, I just hung in there. Yeah, yeah. Don't they horrible. put a towel, or like, around the outsides? Well, there's a pad, and your yeah, face you goes through the middle. Right? They don't do yeah. a towel on top of the pad, just like for san sanitary. <laughs> Not at this place. Yeah, yeah. That's, how they, that's how they kill you. <laughs> yeah. That'd be fun to go to that. You get every HIV day. from the rim of a face pad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, HIV days were wild. Yeah, like '90s, early 2000s. So I, I, went, I was in college, so like, anytime I thump around campus, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at like. I'm I'm googling like what what, how, what does HIV look like? Do you, what are the early signs? Yeah. I was checking my tongue like I got light spots in the back of my throat. Was it light spots? Do you ever notice? Because I've I don't know if recently, but not that long. Like if you watch like a Monday night football game or like Sunday football, the amount of ads for HIV medication. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's new. In fact, our but like uh, is that the target? Like, are there so many more people with HIV than we think? Yes, and yeah, also I think so. it's spreading amongst <clears throat> straight men very fast because of the orgies and the and the big parties. <laughs> I, I, I try not to laugh at this dude. because it's not a joke. But like what the, the, the sexual about? advancement of our society is is we're prone for straight people to be exposed to to this. Like, so Bobby was telling me you should fucking. As straight gay men, Bobby gay Bobby from the bar, yeah, yeah. And he was like, "You need to get this medication." Crap. I was like, "Okay." As soon as yeah. he walked off, I was like, "Get the fuck!" Yeah, he's saying, "I'm not taking these pills every day." Yeah, it's like a, it's Crap. a, yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah, it's like what gay people take to not get HIV. Yes, but it's that there's like a now there's a, a more. Uh, less formal, I guess. I don't know. There's I gotta know the. I gotta know the there's numbers. One, there's one that just has a little mohawk and a switchblade on the side. <laughs> just like, I gotta us. know the numbers. Where you're like the amount of people in America who have HIV. Where you're like, 
that it's getting on Sun like that's the demo Sunday Night Football not like There's America's no, Got Talent I don't know I guess it's just also money it's pharmaceuticals it's like who gives a fuck they're not worried about like what but I still pocket. think they're like you know, there, there's you don't see a Canestin ad on on fucking football game. True. Maybe there's like an alternate strategy that like yeah, <clears throat> so wild. Yeah, where it's like this is so the wrong place for this ad <laughs> that people are gonna be like, what the fuck is this ad about? Yeah, let's and then they'll talk it about it and it'll spread even more. Maybe, yeah. You know? I mean, I'm doing it right yeah, now. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You're and helping you get get the word. Yeah. yeah. All you and I have listeners. HIV. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, you're like, do you think there's a lot more people that have it than we think? Yeah. Well, you know how many fucking closeted gay men are locked in a 50-year marriage going, what is this fucking bullshit? <laughs> Just trying to watch the game. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. I got like all day long. I go on the internet and see this now. I'm going to my big Eagles game. I get dripped off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Dahmer, the Dahmer show was also maybe a, like, uh, you know, an ad to get some, raise some awareness for, you know, just don't go home with weird hicks. He was drugging them though. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Also, yeah. nobody knows his moves. I don't think the documentary shows how good he could dance. <laughs> yeah. Dahmer probably had six. That's moves. your one quarrel, yeah. <laughs> dude. If Dahmer just started Dahmer. breaking out like fucking <laughs> yeah. crazy breakdancing moves, yeah. just admit he was irresistible. <laughs> <laughs> He smelled so good. Dude, if Dahmer just hits himself with Jakar in those days, that's all you need. I got fucking numbers wearing Jakar. I didn't have to say a word. I just winked like an old sailor. Yeah, yeah. Just take a lap Easy. around the dance floor. Yeah. Then I'm Put up a flag. HIV yeah. medication. I'm in a fucking free clinic outside Temple oh, University. Oh, I'm prepped, baby. Yeah, I'm what, do you, what do you think about a fucking crossover prep Dahmer commercial where when he goes to drug the drinks, but he's drugging it with prep? Oh, yeah. It's a happy ending. He goes... He goes, here you go, and then it's just prep, and then, and then it's like, then it's like, happy <laughs> That would rule. Yeah. But you think it's like, oh, she's about to murder this dude. And he goes, right. no, I'm just giving him some prep. <laughs> yeah. And it's about like treating your partners with yeah, care. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're going to fuck them. someone yeah. and you have HIV. Yeah. 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 Mix him up a little prep. <laughs> He's like <laughs> stirring it with his finger. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta support your ass. Wow, <laughs> 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 wow, <Hello>, Michaels. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, what else? Oh, just watch <laughs> the, the Mets got the dicks kicked in. Yeah. yeah. That was sad. You know what? We're, sad gonna see, to see uh, that. we're gonna see KFC on Wednesday, and I'm trying not to be that guy. He was. But his whole online persona is shitting. Shout out KFC, and we'll talk about it later, Kev. Is shitting on the Phillies publicly, yeah. and yeah. I don't do that because I'd love to. Is that I the main here. rivalry? Is Mets, Phillies, yeah. and then yeah. Yankees, Cowboys, Boston? Yeah, Yankees, Boston, baseball. Yeah, but I was saying for baseball. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. pretty big. It's not as yeah, big yeah. as Yankees, Boston. Yankees, yeah, yeah, Boston. For sure. Any team that's a the 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 only reason the Eagles, Cowboys get so much because Cowboys is America's team and Yankees is America's team, but. uh yeah, like I, I try and avoid that because I know it's going to bite me in the fucking ass, especially with two teams like Philly and, and New York. The yeah. Mets. yeah. It's like, dude, you're, you're fucking, you're writing checks you're about to knock ass. Yeah, I know, I know. But there's a, there is a piece of me that I kind of like wish that maybe I did more of that, you know? Talk, Nobody even talk knew a you were lot a Mets of fan. shit. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't get animated about the stuff. You're and also, it's like, I know. The Mets are gonna take it. <laughs> I know they're gonna. Oh, do you? They're gonna get Las, old their shit over here. Yeah, yeah. When? What? Oh, oh take, no! I'm taking take it on the ass. chin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. with the crown. Yeah, it's dude. I've watched enough Mets seasons yeah, where yeah. everyone was like, "This team's different." Yeah. I was like, <laughs> "Let's just get, <laughs> let's get." Close. Dude, that was literally like ten yeah. days ago. Everybody was like, "This team's different." <laughs> dude, well, dude, they, they had they had, a, the they had a huge comeback that like it was like they're looking good. Then they got absolutely buried by the Braves. They only need to win one in the Braves series, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was yeah, and they didn't. But who's Philly playing Atlanta? Yeah, that's going to be night going. Yeah, Atlanta's really but right. fun. Yeah. The fact that we even got there, let them fucking splash champagne yeah. over their fucking average asses. Yeah. I mean, you guys, when the starters you, are on, we got a shot. I mean, that means you got three playoff teams basically, and, yeah. they, and who knows what the Flyers? They're are not be. that bad. If we get a little more bullpen support. We, we and the can. Eagles are the best team. Yeah, Eagles. but even the Eagles, it's like I'm not. I'm, I'm nervous. You know, well, it's yeah. a long year. Also, football is only one game. Focus. There's yeah, so yeah. much more to lose. You don't yeah. talk shit about that. You just go. Yeah, there could be. I don't know yeah. why. For some reason, for me, baseball feels like the biggest crapshoot to win. 
Yeah. It's just the amount of just games, games. Yeah. the amount of things that could potentially go wrong. Exactly. Yeah. And like baseball, like, you know, you're just, your closer sucks for three days and you go, yeah. that's it. You're not, yeah. Yeah. We had this conversation not too long ago, I remember <laughs> talking about like, it's the hardest sport. Yeah. It's the hardest sport to close out. Yeah. I mean, if the physical, you know, input output on your body with like, uh, with every other sport, football, baseball, hockey, dude, or I'm sorry, football, uh, basketball, hockey. That's the hardest physically. But like you talk about like the odds, winning best of five series deep. Like you said, like one guy has an off game, one pitch. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that, like the, the Jay Seattle game or whatever, like it all fell apart when this just dude hit this bloop like blooper and then George Springer runs face first in a Bobachette's knee. Yeah. Then three runs score. Yeah. They, they give up this eight run or seven run lead. Springer, like one of our best players, comes out, you're like, oh, this is over. It's yeah. Over. Dude. Like did the they way- get did, did the shortstop did he fucked up his arm too, right? He stayed in though, but, oh, he did. but Springer like hit his head or something, came out. But you're like Springer is like, you know, most clutch player. Yeah. Like one of the best like playoff players. He's like, incredible. Ever gone. You're like Gone. He'd be out for the next game anyway. If you guys would probably, yeah. It's concussion. But the way I feel about it too is like, even if they got that point, even if they won that game, you're like, you're not, you're, you're not going to win. Maybe you'll win the series. You're not going to beat the fucking Astros. Well, that's how we are now with the Braves. It's yeah. like, look, it was fun. You never know though. There's, momentum's a big thing in baseball. Yeah, it's another yeah. excuse to get fucking blacked out. I don't know. They're na- they're fired up. Garage. They're fired up. You got to think about all the bartenders and barbacks in uh, Philly. They're fired up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. big money. Yeah, that's big yeah. money. That's, that's life them changing. Spring. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> Christmas is different now. <laughs> Oh, for sure. <laughs> because you get a call. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the Phillies made the playoffs. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. dude, it's so crazy. It is crazy this season being so fucking long. I had, a, I had a thought the other day. Like I was in, uh, I went to a Dodger game with Mecky. What felt like two years ago. I was like, no, that was this season. Yeah, that was just like the beginning of the season. Yeah, like it's how a whole you, year. How do you possibly give a? I mean, fuck? they play almost <laughs> half of the days in a year. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like literally almost half of the day. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, pretty much. They're fucking nuts. They don't get paid enough. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all right. <laughs> yeah, they probably don't. We got to pay the ladies kicking around the old soccer ball. Ugh. They need equal pay. Do you guys have a big Philly soccer? Field? No, we no. don't give a fuck. I, I, Philly, I'd be like, nobody gives a fuck about soccer. Nobody gives a fuck. Philly's a big soccer city. Philly's like a soccer hotbed in the U.S. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. A lot of talent comes out of Philly. We had a couple girls on the national team. One dude in a ponytail was sitting there watching the Philadelphia Union, and the Philadelphia Union is a good squad. They were up like 6 nothing. That's MLS men's? Yeah. And he's he's watching it. On one TV, out of like 17, and this is like... You know, we're listening to Joe Buck read his fucking diary for 30 minutes before the (laughs) fucking kickoff. Everybody's like so locked in the football, and this one guy... Clearly was there since like 9 a.m. or whatever, <laughs> yeah, yeah. whenever their game started, the match or whatever. Nobody gives a fuck. He's a degenerate gambler, right? <clears throat> He's got that a ponytail. Qu- yeah, that guy was a problem gambler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what's this queer doing? Whatever. Like, he has a lot of money going on this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like he sweating even, the fucking... He didn't wipe the coke off his nose. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's watching the video. He'd be like, I'm so fucked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're up six nothing. Yeah. He's betting yeah. against him. Yeah. He's betting against him. He goes, I'm yeah. so fucked. He got shit faced the night before. He was like, I bet, bet that they score seven goals. <laughs> it's like, oh no. He's there, like, oh my God, yeah. it's going to happen. Do you know just nothing about the, the yeah. under. He just took the under. He's like, they're fucking me. It is fun, though. I did go to one game that the, the Union is a good squad. Like, they're fucking, yeah, they're good. I went yeah. to like, the in Toronto, sick, I went to too. like one, two soccer games, MLS. Yeah. That's it's fine. That's it's enough. like the, the atmosphere is good when they're like winning. Yeah. It's like going to an aquarium. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> I went once. Yeah, exactly. And you're <laughs> like, these are like, you know, as they're, I don't know what this would be equivalent in Europe. Maybe like a series like C team or something, junior or something. Like, I don't know. They're, they're well, like, none of them are good enough. Well, no, I'm just saying like none of them are good enough to play in Europe or they would be. Yeah. Unless they're like the two guys who make like five million dollars or yeah. something. And then, what do they get paid? They get paid like plumbers, like NFL football players. It's like, C- it's like CFL, basically, if you guys know that, like the Canadian Football League. Uh, yeah. But they have, I think, for MLS, there's three slots on every team where there's like, so you can get like the Beckhams and stuff. Yeah. Where there's like no cap on those like three guys. So there's like three guys can make like eight mil a year. Wow. Yeah. Like three guys can be like big name. European Euro dudes league. who they yeah. bring over at the end of their career, like Wayne Rooney or something, pay them a ton of money to sell tickets. And then everybody else is like, has a pretty hard cap on like, I don't know, maybe a yeah. hundred grand. Wait, is CFL yeah. still around? 
Fuck yeah, dude. Really? Really? Yeah. You were the team. In Canada? Dude, no <laughs> idea. I had well, no you guys, idea. Do you remember when it came to America for a year? Yeah, it was fucking it was it was the hilarious. Weirdest it was like thing. a pee wee football game. <laughs> You guys are fucking monkeys with your hats backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows how to play the game. Dude, it's, well, it's three downs. It's <laughs> what? It's three downs. Yeah. Right? This is what? like the XFL. They to keep go seven yards or no, something? No, the CFL. No, so it's 110 <laughs> yards. No, to go 10 yards. Like, yeah. but it's like a, an NCAA playoff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's a 110-yard <laughs> field. Okay? It's a wire <clears> field. There's one extra player, so it's 12 on 12. But it's 10, but you only have three downs. So it's like you're punting on third down. Why the fuck do they do that? Because they're trying to, I guess, not be the same as the NFL. But, like, it is yeah, really, yeah. like... It's probably because yeah, there's something wrong with the NFL's yeah. product. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, like, yeah. It's obviously all those guys are trying to... Yeah. But it's, like, triple A football. It's probably because the yeah. queen was sleepy beeping. And <laughs> to get everybody to bed all the yeah. time. Dude, you want to know how funny, like, the CFL is? And so a lot of the guys are, like, they play in the NFL, and, you know, guys will go to the NFL. Like, it happens all the time. But, like, I went to... A season open, season home opener. I think it was the Argonauts, like maybe four years ago, because I lived really close to it. You get like forty yard line tickets, like thirty rows up for ten dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, it's like a bar league. Yeah, it's like yeah. a bar league. It's like going to like minor league hockey. But they're all games. they all Fucking play awesome. like you know you look at their college. I'm sure they're great. Alabama. Yeah, I know these guys are elite athletes. No, 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 but yeah, yeah, but they're <laughs> it's just fun. Yeah, it is fun. It's fun to shit on something called yeah, the yeah. Canadian. But it's crazy though for like you know the damage that. Uh, football player takes dude that, like to really fuck yourself up for life and you're like you're doing that for like CFL money like, it's not like it's like yeah. the, dude I, I I forget every year that like <laughs> like I said, I'm so excited for football to come back I always forget about like this this period of the season like I feel like it's always like Week three to six. You see all the concussions coming down? Just, just everyone yeah. gets murdered. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, those are some bad and, ones. And like, it's crazy. Dude. Who the, was the guy like uh, last week or Tua. whatever? Oh, Tua. No, not Tua. There's someone else. Uh, can't remember, but he like, his like his legs weren't working properly. Tried That's to get Tua. Out. Yeah. No, there's someone else. No, there's, I know there's oh, Tua, really? but there's someone else Because Tua got hit, slammed the back of his head, and then he got up and he was like. Yeah, two weeks in a row. He was walking like a marionette. <laughs> <Yeah. puppet. laughs> He's like, and yeah, they were like, yeah, you're good. Yeah, if you had a few back spasms. Yeah, 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 a back yeah, spasm. Yeah, Dude, this year yeah. fucking. That was. Crazy in this day and age, they're so conscious of that stuff. And then he's just like, yeah, go back yeah, in there, yeah. champ. Yeah, because they got no backup. And they're worried about a win, and then he goes get the worst. They did the win whole... that game, pretty sick. <laughs> he did, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did come back and win that. Well, game. he's gonna be eating car keys and forget his kids. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, dude. Because he's gonna be eating pablum for the next fucking. <laughs> yeah. year. No biting the plant, Tua. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be out of his fucking. Dude, board, did you ever dude. hear that with uh, who's the who's the little wide receiver that played with Tom Brady for a long time? Welker. Uh, yeah, Wes, Wes Welker. Welker. Yeah. He got so many. First of all, he started wearing that big fucking. <laughs> He started wearing it was like, like a kid. It was like an ET dressed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that like Darth Vader helmet from fucking uh, Space Balls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rick Moranis. Yeah. He was wearing Which I'm sure just like gives you like, such a target for every player. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, but dude, he used to like, he would have to spend nights doing like, he would like, he would force himself to do crossword puzzles with his wife to like, just keep his brain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like he has to do that like every night. Now. Dude, concussions are like dark. <laughs> when you hear about like the stuff. Come on, baby. Crossword time. <laughs> He's like, no, why are you crosswords? Dude, you remember this dude has like three Super Bowl rings. <laughs> yeah, I know. I uh, I worked on this show in uh, Canada. It's like this hockey poker thing, and I was hanging out with Pat Lafontaine. <laughs> Man, really dialing in. Pat Lafontaine. Remember Pat? Hockey yeah. poker. No, it was like a poker thing with all these ex hockey. Jack. <laughs> 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 that was like a poker game, all ex hockey players. But remember Pat Lafontaine? Yeah, he yeah. played for the Islanders. He was like a stud, right? Yeah, La Fontaine, it, the, ru the runner, the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly. pre Fontaine. I know. But, no, he uh, <laughs> but he was talking. To, oh yeah, it's it's inconceivable that he would have <laughs> fucked that name up. Well, I wouldn't was, say it so profoundly. <laughs> he was talking to Theo. I, I, I was like sitting beside him, and he was talking to Theo Fleury, who like yeah. the two of those. Oh, Theo Fleury has like the darkest yeah. story. Like he, I, I was like, he was talking about this. We were all playing <laughs> poker one night. And he's like, dude, he's like, I fucking gotta. They they fa I was in a cabin and they faxed me when he got signed on the Rangers. He's like they faxed me my contract. I'm like in this cabin, no reception. I just have a fax, forty eight million dollar contract or whatever for four years or or six something crazy, right? Forty eight million dollars. He's like it's all gone. He's like I spent it on fucking hookers, coke, like just all gone or whatever. He's like totally like broke now and he like oh he's, and he's become like oh I guess he got like diddled no. when he was a kid. So that's this like new path is he's like. He does uh, that. He's like, and he's like, this is like my path in life. Yeah. So I overheard the two of them talking and Palafontaine was literally like, dude, cause he was 
getting concussions in the era where you're like, there was no such thing. Yeah. Like it didn't exist. You didn't take yeah, time just off. took one on the chin. You said, hey, he got fucking, yeah. oh, he got oh, his belt wrong. Yeah. 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 And he was getting back in there. And so he like, yeah. he's like, dude, he's like, I fucking sit in my basement with the lights off. He's like, I didn't, I wouldn't shower. He's like, I didn't leave my basement for like a month. Jesus. Just sitting there in the dark. Chris, you have concussions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I get dude, concussions from whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> I get concussed every night. Dude. Yeah. I'm trying to get one, dude. That's fucking nuts. I didn't know Theo Fleury fell apart like oh, that. Oh, Theo Fleury's like, oh yeah, and now he's like a crazy anti-vaxxer and stuff. So because yeah. he lives in Canada now, and like he went to full like anti-government, anti-vaxxer dude in Canada. Well, that's a <laughs> sign of brain damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Dude, there's like I, yeah, I get the politics of it. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. But, but if you go like that hard, it's like, dude. Oh, for yeah. sure. You don't have to post and all he was day a, about. He was a little. He's a little guy. Like to play in yeah. the NHL when he played when there was still like fighting. Is he like Ty Domi's size? Yes, yeah. but yeah. he doesn't have the like. I, I've also met Ty Domi. I'm, like if you meet Ty Domi, you shake his hands. His Mitz. hand is like a fucking yeah. like cement. Yeah. Like these giant hands yeah. that like don't really fit his body. Yeah. Flurry's just like normal <clears throat> hands. Like he's just like a normal sized guy who's yeah. small. Yeah. Who just he was so fast and like had amazing hands to like play in the NHL. Yeah, yeah. But like some white dude, slot. Yeah, like I read Brad May and I shook Brad May's hand and I was like, his hand just like was like I must have been like shaking Shaq's hand. Dude. Like insane. <clears throat> He's like a regular size guy. Imagine yeah. getting fucking hit with one of those things. That's the first thing I thought. Yeah, I go, yeah, this yeah. would Schultz. be so just crazy. Explode. Dude, I met Schultz. I was talking to McKeever about this. He said he uh, that Schultz's son was on like one of his uh, yes, sets. Yes, Schultz's son did stand up. Yeah. He was in he was acting in one of his sets. Mm hmm. Uh, one of his shoots. And I met Dave the Hammer Schultz. You remember Dave Schultz and the Flyers? On the Flyers, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like the Broadway Bullies. Like bullies. Of yeah. yeah, okay. Well, I shook his hand. And it was it's crazy, right? Yeah. And it's like, it is from them like fighting. Yes. Like, just like, yeah. a giant swollen square that you can't even. You're a baby. Yeah, their I'm hands like, just get so big from just fighting. Yeah, yeah, there's there's dads and stuff that get it if they're like, we're construction yes. and shit. Just because well, it's, like, it. it's like a type of, if you're just like wrenching shit all the yeah, time, yeah, like, sure. your hands get just fucking well, huge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like strangling your wife when she <laughs> overcooks a London boil. You know what I mean? And I guess these guys were using like these giant like wood sticks too and like they're heavy and I don't know, but. Yeah. That's why you see old school like baseball players with their forearms because they were swinging like forty eight ounce bats. Yeah, just fucking lumber, yeah, just like dude. Rope, dude. How do you burn through fifty million dollars? I know. That's oh, dude, the... that was like that was that contract. Like, yeah, yeah. That wasn't. He was <clears throat> playing in the NHL for like I don't know 12, 15 years. Yeah, that was just one of his contracts. Dude, one million dollars. I mean, half of it living in New York City, half of it's gone. So there's twenty four million, twenty four yeah, million yeah. gone. Yeah, that's, is, that's why he hates the government. He's probably yeah. like, he <laughs> burned through all his money. He's like, well, look how much they took. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I still have another $60 million. Yeah. $100,000, what? 8333 uh a month. Yeah. Something like that. So, that was fast. One million. million that was. That was impressive. It is $83,333 a month. Eighty-three thousand dollars a month for one million. Yeah, ten million. Eight hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Eight hundred thirty dollars a month. What are we? What are we doing? That's having 10. fun, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what do you yeah, mean? Like, oh, this, oh, this. Yeah. Dude, that's insane. I mean, he, I think he said that like he needed, he, he needed the acorn app. Yeah. <laughs> he had the classic. Yeah. yeah. He had the classic like bad advisors like. Mm. You know, they all rinsed them. Like, robbing them. The, like, everybody's robbing them, like all that stuff. And and that was before, because you know, like the leagues now, when you come into a league, they're all like, you go meet with financial advisors, all this shit to like, you know, they go like, here's what's going to happen to you yeah. if you do this, like save your money. They never did that before. They're just like, yo, go have fun. And Dude, it's crazy. Like, I feel like that's a big reason why like the mob has shrunk so much. It's just like... Why would you join the mob when you could just join Citibank and rob people? <laughs> you know what I mean? You make way more money, and it's all like legal. Like those well, guys, you gotta go to, those guys, you straight gotta go to like, those guys <laughs> fucking well, you gotta go to Yale. Yale. Actually, this is part of Carlin's bit. Yeah, <laughs> no, you, you, you don't. You don't. I think Carlin is bad. <laughs> Carlin fucking stinks. 
Why no, would you, you be in the mob when you could be in a bank? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, you do. No, because you can be a you can be a mean, thick Italian guy and just get like an Asian dude to do the numbers and just muscle people. Have you been watching Sopranos recently? <laughs> I think that was an episode no, of dude. The Sopranos. No, Happy no, Columbus Day, Chris. I've been, I've, been, on, baby. I've been in corporate America, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't know what corporate Canada is like. Dude. Less mobsters, <laughs> dude. Corporate America, dude. Fucking, dude. You were an editor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I saw the guys running the show, and yeah, they were at the editing company, dude. Yeah, dude it was a <laughs> healthcare <Not a> pinky <laughs> race. <laughs> At a healthcare company. <laughs> hey, Chrissy, we're going to need dude, you to hey, do that thing. I'm telling you, dude. I'm we're going to have to you take dude. you. The, the, the AstraZeneca in the bottom corner, we're going to bring it all the way up. Hey, hey Chrissy, dude. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. got that bonus. Think we're yeah. gonna the finance, top. we may be the going out for drinks <laughs> after today <laughs> if you're good. Dude, the finance world and, dude, healthcare, there's a lot of meatheads in there, dude. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they still control the room. <laughs> They, 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 <laughs> like they're just like room a room of people can't help but respond to like a like an aggro jacked guy yeah, yeah. dude it, they just do charismatic wop will demolish yeah, a company yeah yeah, yeah. it's a problem <laughs> it's a problem it's a problem it's it's vitiating our society actually it's a, <laughs> actually, actually, it's a cologne I'd like to bottle <laughs> dude. there used to be a beer right here did you take it no I gave it to him uh, yeah. I already gave you one. Oh, I didn't take the one you gave me oh yeah I thought you brought it over him. I did. Do we have ads we have to read? Yeah, we got an ad. We're not done. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done. <laughs> yeah, no. I think I think it's like it's you know it's it's legalized nice. organized crime. Yeah, I mean there's definitely that element to it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm okay. I'm just gonna. Oh, all right. Yeah, no, don't. You don't have to drink that. Okay. I'll drink it. No, no, no. He doesn't have to drink that. Yeah, you. Don't <laughs> Nobody has to drink that. Just put it right here. <laughs> Keep an eye on it. What's the uh, what's the what's the worst job you ever had? Worst? Oh, I know for sure. Selling uh, Cutco <laughs> knives. Whoa! No question. I honestly like you wanna, did door to door shit. Uh, it was kind of yeah. It, honestly, I want to like almost write a thing about it because like it's a thing like a lot of people I think have done and know. <laughs> And then it's just, it's such a funny business because for sure there's like some family that just like owns it. Yeah. Like it's not like some public company. It's just like some family. And they just, they, it's this whole, I guess it's multi-level marketing. Like I'm sure a lot of people have done stuff in that vein. Yeah. Of, uh, is there a fucking woodpecker back there? What the fuck <laughs> yeah, is that? Yeah. Uh, it's our, but it's for sure, with yeah. his pinky ring, <laughs> yeah. dude, that was like the one. That's a clock for the podcast. That's when it lets us know. <laughs> when we need, when we need to read the ads, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do need an ad clock. You think he'd say something? <laughs> you don't just edit them in; they got to go live, huh? You don't edit the ads in? No, we make our no. guests suffer through. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking thirty-second talk. Also, we'd it's like to get your opinion on Manscape in a minute. So you're selling Cutco knives? <laughs> yeah, you know what those are? Uh, yeah, they're knives. Uh, yeah, they're knives. Yeah, yeah. but I'm saying, like, you know, specifically, like, did you ever know? Any, like, no, I this know. was beyond my like. Oh, okay. That so was like door to door. It's kind of like door to door, but they mostly just want you to go through your entire personal network versus like you don't really yeah, go door to door. Yeah, yeah. You know, so like, we they, had though Tupperware parties. Yeah, same thing. It's Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, yeah same yeah, concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Girl Scout cookies are door to door. Oh, and yeah. yeah, and the thing, yeah, this is straight up like my you aunts had Tupperware parties. Yeah, 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 this is similar to that. And you invite only people you know, and you'll yeah. go to like they'll be like, "Yo, you know, call your." Friend. These are monsters. These are the fucking. These monsters. are honestly, I think they yeah, are. Like, yeah, I remember yeah. the guy who was like running it, and like, dude, I was like, I don't know, that's Vinny the Granny or something when I did yeah, this, yeah. and he like calls you in and, and like like the promises they're making you. They're like, yeah, you know, like we have people here that make fifty grand a month. And I'm like, what? for selling knives like and like because it's totally multi-level where you go like you know you get people beneath you and then they get people beneath them yeah like, like, yeah. like, like pretty classic multi-level marketing but it was like yeah the How whole thing is you? I was 20 and then you eventually Prime. yo there's literally squirrels fucking like <laughs> six feet behind my they're head they're they are fucking yes dude <laughs> it's nice it's nice weather it's yeah, just fall dude. weather let them go also they're gonna be holed up for months they gotta get their yeah, cummies yeah, out yeah yeah Big, big full <laughs> squirrel nuts. We got we got a cat that monitors that backyard too, so they might be in trouble. They get yeah. caught fucking. <laughs> You're, they, you guys they, have a cat? No, no, no. it's a neighbor's cat. No, we're that's we're nice to have a neighborhood operating. cat. Yeah, dude, I lived in this place once in Toronto. We had such a we had this I had this old Italian landlord, 
and I had the worst mouse infestation I've ever seen in my life. Like literally, I would just like come home, there'd be like ten mice on the floor. Yeah, like, it was just, nuts. and they wouldn't they be were, scared. Like flipping no, they through. weren't yeah. scared at all, dude. One time, I have I actually found a picture of this on my phone. I was like going through like old like my Dropbox or something, just like seeing if I had any nudes stashed. And uh, <laughs> and I was going through, and dude, there was so I remember this very vague or very like clearly. I went and I was in my kitchen, and then I took a mouse trap and I put it on the counter, and I go, I walk out, and maybe I took ten steps, and I hear snap. After, like, I'm not 30 seconds, right? Like, yeah. turn back, two mice in it. Yes. Like, that's how many mice I had. Holy shit. It caught two shit. mice instantly. They get wise to the traps, though, after No, they didn't, but they some had to them, get, yeah. like, yeah. some of them, they had to get, like, there just were so many. And then his solution was, he goes, uh, he goes, hey, I can, uh, how do you feel? I'll get you a cat. <clears throat> And I'm like, I don't want a fucking cat to solve this mouse problem. Go get yeah. a, like a exterminator. I'm like, yeah. I don't want a cat. Yeah. But Do you it, want all your hardwood floors smell like a terrible IPA? No. Get a cat. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I mean, it would have taken care of this mouse problem, except for there'd be dead mice everywhere. Yeah. But like nah, there was yeah. hundreds of mice in the walls and stuff. And like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. This no, is why you're selling cutco knives. No, no, no. Uh, this was like, <laughs> no, this is like in true. No, this is 10 years later, probably. <laughs> Dude, when I lived in, uh, in Tem oh, Temple's campus, uh, it was a shithole, obviously. We had this one, it wasn't even a mouse, it was a rat. Yeah. We called him Charlie, we named him Charlie. <laughs> you could hear him fuck around upstairs when we're all hanging out. So we'd like mute the TV. This dude had like a pounce to him. You know, he had like <laughs> a heavy yeah, footed, of course. Heavy, <laughs> heavy footed fucking uh, <laughs> attendant upstairs. This dude was like, I'm out. You know what I mean? Like he, he would bite through my protein because I'd hide shit because you couldn't keep it in the cupboards. This yeah. motherfucker yeah, just course. eat full slices of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd have Night Watch, like Platoon. You ever seen the movie Platoon? Yeah, course, yeah. yeah where they like, they'd be like, wake you up, like, yo, you up, man, you up. And then he hands the, the, the rifle to Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen puts his hood up in the, in the fucking, in the rain. And he's like, trying not to nod off. That's, that's the whole baseball team watching their protein. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of hunting the mouse, yeah, yeah, yeah. protecting the protein. <laughs> it's our fucking ammunition, though. Some guy falls asleep. <laughs> a fucking jacked rat yeah, walking around. No, up, yeah. man. <laughs> so he, he would literally he'd be playing videos like, like this like Shane be just dipping grabbing a cup and there'd be a rifle on both sides of the couch and then anytime he'd be like and he would just slowly like this because the guy would be inside through the kitchen and finally he got a flathead to Charlie yeah we got we got flathead pellets yeah, I was gonna say like you have live rounds Which, in the house. No, they fucking. <laughs> it's like it, it, what, what do you call the uh, the bullets that kill cops and shit? Like uh, arrow or what, hollow, hollow, point? hollow, hollow points. points. Yeah. yeah, like the flathead to a mouse. Later, Gator. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got a shot, and at least you're gonna incapacitate him. He's gonna be knocked out immediately. We had five dudes. After we hit him with one. He was like squirreling around like fucking to to a tackle you. And we had bats and shovels and brooms trying to take this thing down. Like Not good it was this big. Holy it was a full fuck. fucking rat that had an apartment chewed out to the side and a whole like little area, like a cavernous area that yeah, it, like, yeah. stored all his shit. It's crazy because those are like in New York City, you don't even blink if you see that. Oh yeah. yeah. Like, I often think, like, if people have never been to New York, like, you just get so used to it here. But you're like, most people would come here and be like, what the fuck? Yeah. You just live like this? Yeah. Like, this is, you don't, just the rats and the humans live in harmony somehow? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, their, yeah. Their tails are as thick as, like, Honestly, a 10 Honestly, I feel specter. like the people are worse than the rats. <laughs> yeah. The people are worse than the rats? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how the Holocaust yeah. started, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we should jump into the people rat. you see all day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what this, is the S? That's about Munich. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you manscape? I I get around there. I do what? So. I, I get out yeah. out and about there down there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, I don't use the brand manscape. Okay, but yeah. you have a trimmer. I have a trimmer. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. that's that's good. how short do you keep it? Not as short as I have a girlfriend. Uh, Probably. I like uh, this. Yeah. But I don't know. Medium. Well, it's more it's just, natural. Yeah. I, I don't get let it go too crazy. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it just gets uns unsightly, you know, plus you can always use the extra length of the yeah. shortness. Yeah, for sure, dude. Yeah. yeah I, might get, I might get like a Brazilian lasered. <laughs> a Brazilian lasered? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just have a strip. <laughs> Landis strip. We talked about last week, dude. Can you imagine? Can you imagine walking just in the get it laser, room, laser, like, in. 
fuck, dude. I heard about you on your podcast. Let me see that bird. Yeah. And he had a, a tight, well kempt <laughs> <laughs> undercarriage. It'd be funny if it was like not quite centered. Like it was just yeah, a little yeah, they fucked up. They fucked up. <laughs> just on an angle. Just like David Bowie's fucking lightning bolt. <laughs> just having to explain that every time yeah. you get fucking laid. You should just have the queen etched out of respect. Yeah, yeah, that would be pretty dope. That to get like sick. a styled one, yeah. you know, like they do in like a latte. Puerto Rican hair. Yeah, like like a latte. 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 Yeah, yeah. Go all the way up to your belly button. Get a clover. Dude, yeah. that would be so sick. <laughs> Anyway, you could do that with Manscaped yeah. 4.0. <laughs> you want to put a clover 0. on your ball sack? Oh, man. So you get 20% off and free shipping with the code Stuff Island at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off for free shipping with the code Stuff Island. One word, Stuff Island at Manscaped.com. Manscaped, clear out the leaves. It's tree trunks time to shine. <laughs> That's how actually I feel about it. Yeah. yeah. I think they need a wider thing for the nose, though, the nose hair trimmer. A wider one. Yeah. I need more room for my hair to get in the blades. Wait. Yeah. Like, when oh. I go up in there... Is this part of the ad read? No, no, no. We're, we're just, just trying to figure each other out. Wait, <laughs> why? We're learning about each other. It's, maybe it's just me, but I don't know. There's some the of us out there with, like... we got. I got serious... I got thick nose hair. Yeah, but then you just manipulate it. You I know, it but it takes so long. I just want to stuff it in there and have it just <sighs> grind everything to pieces. Yeah. You just want a weed whacker, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Weed Whacker 1.0 brought to you by Manscaped. <laughs> you just want to just go... Inspired by like Chris O'Connor. See, yeah. I like how fine it is because you get to you know move it around. Yeah, the nose get, is very yeah. like... I, I don't know, like my I do that shit and my eyes are just like watering nonstop. Yeah, yeah. Whole thing. It doesn't pull, though. Yeah, it doesn't pull, but no. it's No, it slices. It's a clean slice when it gets one, but... yeah. I it's need, very high potency. Is yeah. it like the one that's like the like the teeth kind of and like the yeah, it's got this yeah. silver thing and it's just a, a blade yeah, that goes yeah. around like this and protects your yeah. skin. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I so. never used to use that shit. I used to go in there with those uh, eyebrow shears that have like a tiny scissor with a curve. Yeah, yeah with the curve. Yeah, yeah. I did that. This I used weekend it sometimes because I forgot my. That's uh, dangerous though because you can clip the nose and then. And then, yeah, then you're fucked. Then yeah, you just that bleed just looks now. like a cocaine injury. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you have to make something up. Like, oh, me and the Amazon guy butted heads. Does your nose, the inside of your nose, does it go forward a little bit on the inside? Does it like tuck forward? Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, All nose yeah, is like a little... Yeah. Like, it's not, mean, for it's me, like it's not like ridge. flat to oh, the to dude, the I got a fuck... Charlie like, can sit in the front of my yeah, fucking yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got three mice like, yeah, shut up. I got up. a cabana there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, should we switch over to the page? Yeah, let's do it. I got right. piss. Piss. Oh, hold on. Do you want to promote anything, uh, Danny? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can follow me over at Danny Jokes, Tuesday nights, uh, Low Value Mail. It's a live call-in show on YouTube, my YouTube channel that you can find. Uh, Friday, Boys Cast with Ryan Long. Nice. And sometimes, I just started a couple weeks ago on Thursdays, I, I do a show called The Bathhouse. That's a live call-in show from the green room of The Stand. Nice. Cool. What, what's on that YouTube. one at the stand? You like inter talk to comics and shit? It's literally, if you guys are over there, come join. It's, yeah. it's straight up. The first one was fun. The second one uh, was just, we got prank called for literally the entire show. <laughs> <laughs> they drop M bombs. I mean, it's on YouTube. So, like, Tommy we won't do it unless no, you No, no, but dude, it's like, it's on. <laughs> you want no, to do it I was going to speak on my experience. With, uh, well, the thing is, it's on YouTube. Because <laughs> people are like, you need a call. Compound. When Shane yeah. and I had our oh, show. Oh, oh, on Compound. Yeah, they're yeah. like, call in. You no, guys want to call that's in? Not I was my, like, what? Uh, yeah. The fuck? No, yeah. no, no, no. My, that's not my. No, they were all like thirteen-year-old style. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. Where they were playing recordings off of YouTube into the phone, like you could tell that they weren't talking. It was like they were just playing a recording. Yeah. And, and then we started prank calling people. We we were prank calling. <laughs> no hot rules. Yeah, because the thing is, like, it's on YouTube. There's no rules really. Yeah. Like, like, there's no fucking FTC or whatever who's gonna cancel us for yeah. saying shit. So. I don't have a call screener and I don't know just whatever happens happens but it's fun it's that's fun. fucking awesome alright see you yeah, yeah. see you in a bit thanks yeah. for having me boys